Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the batch fetching in Hibernate. Hibernate offers the add batch size annotation which can be used when fetching uninitialized entity proxies. So this concept will try to understand through an example and that example uh, I have already created. right? So here if I, you can see Hibernate cfg.xml file contains the, all the information about the Hibernate and here we have a two properties, two entity classes, entities classes, first is employee and second is deploy, uh, department. Now there is a one to many relationship from department to employee and that's the reason we have a one to many association between department to employee and we have a collection of employee inside the department. It's pretty straightforward. And from department, uh, from employee, uh, we have a, of course many to one relationship, and that's the we have declared a single reference in employees, right? Now uh, let's have a look into the client program. First client program, we have a save data client test. So basically, this will create a database table in our uh, schema name is called test. As of now, there is nothing in this test schema and that will insert the some records so here i have created a, a five uh, not five but seven employees object and uh, we have a three departments department one and two and uh, department one two and three now uh, first three employees employees employee one two three i have associated with department one and department two i have associated uh, two employees, employees four and five, I have associated with the de department two, and the remaining two employees I have uh, set it with employee a uh, department three, right? So, so in that way we have a three departments, and first department we have a three employees, second department two, and third employee, uh, third department also we have a two employees, and all departments, department one, two, three, I'm saving. So along with department, list of employee will be saved automatically because in department I have given a cascade type as persist and we, here we are using method as persist, right? So let's run this application and basically this will populate data into our database and after that we will go for the um, concept is called batch fetching in Hibernate, right? So now if I go to the database, then refresh database, then here you can see there will be a three departments, right? IT, Finance and HR and uh, employee table there would be a seven, right? So employee one, two, three belongs to the department one, employee four, five belongs to the department two and employee six and seven belongs to the department three, right? So now we have a data. Now let's try to understand batch fetching client uh, test now here you can see uh, it's a pretty straightforward I have written one HQL right uh, from department and basically this is fetching the list of department right so as of now size is three so three departments would be fetched and I'm iterating every department in uh, for loop right uh, for each loop and uh, I'm printing the department uh, details like department ID and name and trying to fetch the list of a collection of uh, employees uh, from department from every department and same I'm trying to print over here see if I run this program then let's see how many queries is getting triggered by Hibernate so here what we took basically uh, here uh, first of all before running this application uh, right let's uh, uh, considering that we have a previously faced several department entities so here basically we are fetching the several uh, department entities right and now we need to initialize employees entity collection for each particular department right and that's the that's the basically we are trying to do over here now let's see how many queries is getting triggered by hibernate now if you look into the console so I'm going to exclude this query because uh, hbm2 ddl we have given as a uh, update and that's the reason hibernate is trying to uh, recreate this foreign key association so as of now you can remove uh, you can leave it let's focus on the select query so first select query on department table right and that prints the department details 
now second how many uh, so that is obviously that will be uh, uh, that will be uh, queries on the department uh, that's the happening now second query you can see uh, uh, second query is triggered uh, and, and that there you can see uh, data is getting selected from employee right and uh, we get the employee details right uh, for this department IT department now if you come down then finance department uh, name is getting printed details is getting printed and again finance department we have a collection of employees so again select query is getting triggered on uh, employee table to fetch details for the finance department and similarly HR department there is separate query is getting triggered right so if you have a uh, 20 departments then 20 extra query will be triggered right one select query for uh, uh, one select query for this right which will face the all the departments and after that because you are asking uh, to hibernate give me the list of employees for every department so because of this line of code this line of code uh, uh, select query is getting fired for every department right and that's the thing you can see one select query for parent and three select query for uh, collection of uh, employees for three departments right so here uh, here you can have a concept is called uh, at batch size annotation right so the as at batch size annotation allows us to load multiple employees uh, multiple employee entities in single database round three now what's the problem to this what's what's the solution for this problem how we can reduce the number of select queries a number of heat to the database so here first of all we will have to go to the parent entity that is the department and before this parent entity you may use uh, annotation is called at batch size and guys one thing you will have to keep in mind this uh, annotation belongs to the hibernate instead of jpa right now here i am going to specify batch size as 2 so now once i specify the batch size of 2 then let's see how many getting a query is fired so if i go to the client program and run this application again now you'll we'll see how many queries now obviously first query will be always triggered uh, to face the all the department uh, details and for first department that's IT and if you look into the select query earlier there was a department equals to something now Hyvan is using in clause because we are using the uh, face size as two and at a time Hibernet is trying to face the uh, employee detail for two departments why two departments because we have given the batch size as two right and this will reduce the number of sql query number of hit to the database so if you if you specify three then there would be only two query so first query Hibernet will face the department details and second query Hibernet will face the uh, employee detail for all three departments but batch size as we have given as two so in first uh, once uh, i want to fetch uh, uh, information about the, all the departments after that hyphen is trying to fetch employees information for first two departments and here you can see uh, department whose id is one means it department there is three employees now next department finance there is a two employees now now uh, you can see for hr departments hibernate is again firing a salad query right because uh, batch size as you have given as two so so first in first uh, database call hibernate is basically trying to fetch, fetch the uh, information about the uh, employees which belongs to the first two departments right if i specify the batch size then you will see there will be a only two query sql query one for the to face the information about information about all departments a second time you'll see that will fetch employees for all three departments 
So as of now, select there is three select query. If I go and specify as size as three, then uh, then if you see how many queries, look into over here. Now here you see uh, one select query for to select uh, information about all the departments uh, that HQL what we have written and now there is a only one select query and in one select query that is fetching uh, information about the, all the departments in all three all, all three departments information about the, all the employees in all three departments because now we have given the size as three so suppose if you are fetching employees about the 100 departments then you should select a appropriate batch size over here and make uh, keeping uh, in your mind you should not get the out of memory exception right if you fetch uh, i mean or uh, what happens over here 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 basically if you do not specify the uh, basically uh, batch size then basically you lead to the hibernate something is called n plus one problems right so as you can see example this example there are only uh, two sql statements used to face the employees entities right associated to the multiple department entities without at batch size you would run into a n plus one query issue so instead of two sql statements there would be a basically uh, there would be a basically uh, three right uh, three sql query for uh, all three departments right uh, and that that's very basically needed to fetching the employees empl employee child entities however uh, although at best size is better than running into an n plus one query issue right most of the time a dto uh, projection or uh, joint fetch is a much better alternative uh, since it allows you to fetch all the required data with the single query right so guys uh, this is the concept that is very specific to the hibernate right so this imports happens from the hibernate itself this is not the jpa compliant annotation i hope you understood this concept uh, at batch size in hibernate so i hope you enjoy learning this video and definitely i'm very much sure if you are working on any real project this would be worthful sometime right so guys uh, big thank you for watching this video and if you like this video then please hit on the like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much and this code i am going to check in on the github and github location you may get in the video description so see you there in next video tutorial